Good afternoon, everybody. Dawn from Glory Grace Farm. Just thought I would check in with you and show you what we are working on and how the progress is going in the garden. So, it's been kind of rainy and stuff, and I've not been able to come out and make a video. But I've been working on a uh, garden in between rain showers, trying to get more plants in. Still have a lot to do. But I'm just doing as I can. This is, guess what? We're going to make some little raised bed garden here by the sidewalk with some of the extra plants we have. And we're just trying to figure out a design that we want to go with. I kind of like this. And then we're going to fill in. All this area is going to be covered with mulch and everything because it just grows up so fast. I can't keep up with it with the weeds and everything. So we're just going to mulch this whole area anyways. And so we bought these little pools at the Dollar General, the new Dollar General down the street. And then these are some old planters we had. They're broken and stuff, but I'm hoping I can keep them together at least for one more season. But I want to show you guys the tomato plants. Let me back up some here. Because they're kind of getting rather tall. These are the little poor pitiful looking things from Walmart that I got on clearance and they have been doing amazing i did the calcium powder and the 444 job's fertilizer and the one on the front corner i guess you could say of three plants is just really going crazy this one is called a celebrity and it's just what's all the labels is is a cooking tomato but you can see it's putting out mom's excited because these probably won't be much longer she's like touching that one every day say don't let anything bad happen <laughs> and everything so beautiful um the powder is de i found a caterpillar this morning it didn't look like a hornworm it was a different color so i'm not sure what it was it still had the green guts but not sure, but I planted, um, planted some basil a couple of days ago. I'm going to put one more over on that side. But that one's small, but it's really putting out. And this one is the big boy. And it's also putting out. Let's go under this way and everything not heavily i don't know why but it's it's getting there There's some there one there i think it's because it's more shaded so i'm going to try to uh, limb back my uh, magnolia here a little bit more but then this one is a little cherry tomato called a super sweet 100 Walmart. It's got a little deep powder on it. But look here, y'all. One's almost ready. Mom's excited. Oh, I need to get that bad one off. It is just going like crazy. It's got blooms everywhere. I think they're so pretty the way they grow in clusters like grapes. I guess that's why they're grape tomatoes. You can see this cluster here. But something I want to talk about, this one is an offshoot. That one's normal. But there are some I have realized were actually where I left on. I did an experiment with these because these were store-bought. And I thought, I just want to play with it, see what happens. So on some of them, I'm leaving the um, sucker in the armpit and cutting off the lower limb because there's no growth on it there's no it's just leaves so like this one's new i may come in here because they seem to always want to point down so i come in and i cut those off and i leave the little um armpit to grow because they're stronger and they grow upright better but I don't know if they're just all grown in there now. It's hard to tell. But I was out here one day and I could tell 
that it was the armpits, the suckers, that were putting out a lot of the actual produce, and that's what I want. You know, I want production um, over size. Um, and I, it was funny because I was planning on doing this video today, and I watched Living Traditions, and she was speaking about the fact that they don't do their suckers like everybody else because they want production over size. And I thought, yeah, that's us. Um, you know, I want to see what happens. So, like, you know, I'm just going through at different places, and I have pruned heavily several times. And it just comes back like crazy whenever I do. I've been trying to stake it up today. I'm using these tree limbs that we've pruned off, little saplings and stuff, because they're the straightest things I have right now. But I can't really get them in the ground very sturdy, so I'm going to have to order some bamboo stakes that I saw on um, Amazon. Because I think they're like seven foot tall. So I'm hoping they will work better but those are our little store-bought plants they're doing really well um, the strawberry struggling we're going to get it set out in the um, one of the pools and just let it go crazy we've got some dirt and we're going to fill in the bottoms of the pools with mulch because we've got tons of mulch so we're going to put some of the older mulch in the bottoms and then we're going to set like i said one strawberry this out of the ba um, out of the basket into one of the pools and just let it have its have its way. Hi, baby. That's little Spot with his mama. He's still not friendly yet. I can't believe he's sitting there while I'm this close. He's got two siblings, but they are not as brave as he, so they do not come out. Hey, Spot. You gonna stay? Nope. Say nope. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go hide. Okay. So. I gotta figure out where in the world I'm gonna put my grape. I just cannot decide. I came out the other day after the first of the heavy rains and this is what all of my things look like. So I started setting them out to where they could drain. Cause some of my pans had holes and some of them, they were, you know, of course setting in that for the, but it, so it just didn't serve any purpose to have holes in it. So I've been setting them out on the ground just so they've had proper drainage because of all the rain we've been having. That's all of my basil and a few pepper plants, and it smells so good. I'm excited. That's my very first herb I've ever grown is basil. Those are my peppers. i got to get them put out. We're going to put some peppers in the pools and some peppers in the garden. That way Mom will have her own pepper plants up close to the house. If she wants to come out and look for a fresh pepper. And then the eggplants are doing amazing. I'm going to set those out today. It feels wonderful today. The sun's out just enough. But it's not bearing down and hot. And That's been the struggle with getting everything in. I physically cannot tolerate um, a lot of heat because of a heart issue that I have. But look at this, guys. We just do what we can when we can. Look at my squash. They, I have DE'd because they were having some squash bugs. That one's doing good. That one actually has a baby on it. I think this one has a baby on it. But I read earlier that potassium deficiency can cause them to drop their blooms and not necessarily birds or bugs coming and eating the blooms off. So I'm gonna see what I can find that I have available here on hand um, to put on them to help with some potassium because all I have is my 444 fertilizer. I guess I'll put some of that on till I figure out something else. I was thinking coffee grounds was one of the things I had read, but I can't remember sure, so I've got to look that up. That one is kind of poorly. Um, I think the bugs had gotten a hold of it some. Okay, but I'm having this issue. My corn is falling over. Why is my corn falling over? It's not all of it, it's just some of it. So I'm trying to go and prop it up because it's beautiful, but it's just trying to fall over. Get out of the corn. Go on. I think these right here are my main problem with my corn falling over. I think the cats are trying to come in and love on it. And they're shoving it over. You can see how quickly all the grass is returning to what I had tried to clear. 
but we're getting there. I gotta get my peppers in the ground. They're getting tired looking down here where they had so much heavy rain and then now they've dried back out. And then these are my bib butterhead lettuces. And finally, I mean, it must be a late bloomer. The um, Hanson Honeycrisp and some of the Red Leaf finally started coming out. That's our little watermelon we got to set out. It's a, uh, oop, a black diamond. I've got some watermelon seeds, but I didn't get them planted, so I probably will just go with this one for this year. And then we'll go back to watermelons next year. That's another little pepper plant. But this is what I have been working on, our tomato plants. Um, and some sweet potatoes. We had um, some sweet potatoes that we were letting the um, starts come out on, slips come out on. And some of those I pulled the slips off of and put them in water and now these are new slips regrowing. And so I planted these in the ground just to see that one's not looking real great. It's amongst the dead leaves, it's not looking so good itself. But the rest are doing good, so that one may not make it. But that one's doing good. That one's doing good. But then we've got our little tomatoes. And again, I just continued because I just didn't know where in the world I would put enough holes to put them individually. And everything seems to be doing okay, planting them double planted, so I just continued with the double planting unless i just had one left like this one it was a single one left so it's an alona this one's a singular one that one's back to a double and i'm working on getting my mulch around them i've still got to bring some more to put around this edge here to make it a little thicker kill more of the grass off I mean, some of these, I mean, they were crazy because they were all planted at the same time. But it was like they just got stunted. I think with when I separated them out the first time and then not getting them in, in the ground. I was fertilizing the ground. And they were doing beautiful at first. But these little baby tomato plants were planted on the same day in the the little bags as these tomato plants and so these have been set out in the garden for um i guess two weeks and you can see they're doing great some of them are getting blossoms today i came out and we had this issue one had been broke off i'm not quite sure why um it just was bro bro broke clean off i'm gonna leave it i'm gonna see if it'll make some new growth and make another plant out of it um it looks like the bottom down here is so i'm just gonna leave it be and we took the top part and we planted it because it should it's got some um of the um, suckers coming out at the bottom that I had left and I'm gonna see if it will reroot and if it doesn't it's no big loss I have lots of tomato plants um, but you can see they're doing really good I've been trying to get them staked up with what I had which was just some tree limbs that we like I said where we've been pruning we were keeping stuff piled up and everything and yeah the garden and See, my stakes fought, my plants didn't even stay on my stake there, so I gotta work on that. That's today's other project. Some of them I haven't put a stake in yet, and after that one broke, I'm definitely gonna do that today. Out, 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 not a potty. Not a potty, Miss Kitty. Got my sweet potato. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. What do you do with cats when they wanna get in your garden? can pee when they have piles and piles of mulch everywhere to go pee in. Okay, back to the tomatoes. 
So you can see these are all doing great. This one needs a stake. It's falling over. Trying to lay on the ground. I actually have thought about trying to let one do that and see what happened. Because, you know, they're, they're made to fall over and lay on the ground. That's what they want to do naturally. So I thought, well, if that's the way God made them, maybe that, that would be a fun experiment just to see what happens since that one's on the end. I may do that with this one and just see what happens. But these were planted. Oh, look. I got one there. See him? Let's see if I can find him. Kind in the camera. There he is. Look at that little sucker. It's going all blurry. You get off my tomato plant. Where'd you go? Anyway, I guess I need to dust these up here too. But these have only been in the ground about a week. About half the time that those have. And they perked right up, so I'm excited to see the rest of them perk on up and just become beautiful, big, producing tomato plants. This is the little one we're trying to save. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to try. I probably should have tried it in water instead of in the ground, but like I said, if it doesn't make it, we'll keep going. We have more. But we have these down through here. This is where I've got to finish some mulching. But they're coming along. I did all the mulch down through there yesterday and day before. And all up through there with my piles of mulch. It's free, thank goodness. So this has got a lot of um, the leaf litter and everything in it to still break down and help the soil and help the tomatoes. I read that, or not read, but saw on a video, I believe I mentioned it before, that um, the New Jersey guy that gardens back to Eden, he um, said that as long as you don't mix new mulch into your garden soil, um, new wood chips, that you won't hurt the soil. So hopefully he's right. And all this new mulch will just do good things and not bad things. But um, they all looked yellowish and puny. And then within a week, they look like those. So green and lush and beautiful. So I think I'm going to just try to do a few loads a day and finish getting all the grass covered. And go from there on... Just finishing up the garden. I'm going to run peppers down through here. And my the watermelon's going to be over here somewhere. I've got the eggplants to finish putting out through the black in the middle of this. I have one more roll of weed fabric that I'm probably going to run down right next to this. To put some of the plants in just to help hold this back and then mulch over the top of it. And I tell mom when everything's done, all we have to do is try to pull up the fabric and spread the mulch back out for next year and everything so um because everything's just growing back really fast and more fast than i can keep up with it my little i love the little hoe little japanese hoe that i have but at the same time its handle is really short and it makes weeding very difficult my goal is to get one of the horseshoe hoes or Loopholes, I think they call them different things because it makes a box, a box hoe, I think is one of the words. Um, Haas Tool sells them, different places sell them. I'm sure Lowe's and Home Depot and all those places sell them, I'm not sure. But um, that's the goal because everybody says they work fantastic. So I think I'll just try to get one of those. But that's good enough for now. We're got to get out here and get busy and see what we can get done. So y'all have a blessed week and I will give another update when we get the little pool raised beds done. God bless and have a great day.